Well, while I'm in the mood to do videos, I thought I'd show you some of these other tills that I mightn't have showed you on previous videos. This is uh, Renaissance style. It's made by National. Brass. It's in excellent working condition. I'll, uh, I'll just show you the inside of it. Now, with these uh, cash registers, every time you lifted the lid, it would register on this. That's so the proprietor could make a check to see who is lifting the lid. Or at the end of the day, he needs to do a count before resetting these. I try not to reset them myself because I think it's a bit of fun, isn't it, really? And of course, he can lock it. With these registers, I've got all the keys. And uh, they are fun to restore, but sometimes they're a swine. I've got uh, all the money in them. And what's unique about this, uh, this actually style of re Renaissance is that it hasn't got a coin slab. They weren't that popular, this, this particular mo model, because they couldn't test the coins. Not like this one, where they could test. So let's press these down. Lovely, isn't it? And next one to it is a dolphin design now the reason why they call them dolphin designs and this top sign well by the way you can actually add your name printed on this national would do, would do it years ago is that can you see that at a dolphin and that's why it's nicknamed the dolphin they're all in excellent working condition i've restored these again with money in them that's what you call money. Look at that. The sound of that. You don't get the decimal stuff making noises like that. Absolutely brilliant. As I say, got a couple of uh, old pound notes in them as well. Under the age. This one's uh, 1909. The earlier ones of this model has two little screws in there. So you can actually take this off and some people add their names also put on this now during the first world war when brass was in short demand they used to take these off and that's why they're quite unique they're selling on ebay ridiculous amount of money but i mean to say it's all a bit of fun isn't it collecting cash registers and uh I'll just show you one of the tills I was saying about the... This is an earlier one, this one. This is 1905. And there's the screws I was telling you about that enabled you to take it off. This is quite unique, this, because it's got a covering on it. It's a brass till, but it's got like some sort of covering. I think it's to, to basically to preserve it, save it going mouldy. Because the, the I've been told that if you see a chrome one like this, it's normally used in a food store where your greasy hands wouldn't make the brass go green. This is chrome, it's absolutely working condition, beautiful. This again is 1909, this one. Perfect working condition. And there again, I've got the old money. Makes a bit of fun, doesn't it? So, I hope you like this short video about some of the tills I have in the, in my collection. This is uh, all about collecting, and collecting is fun. If you're collecting and you don't get fun out of it, it's rubbish, isn't it? But this is what my passion is. I just love collecting stuff with nostalgia. It's like this drawer here. Look at that. That's had 60, 70 years of wear. Fingernails, all sorts. Taking the paint off. You know, it's great, isn't it? 
So from me, Robbie, at the Tillmans, the short video, the only one thing to say, isn't it? And that is, ta-da!